And we're back in the game with some more Rome Total War out of a Condita mod playing as Bactria. Now, uh, we're about to jump into a battle. Not surprising, it's against some rebels. Uh, over in the east? Yes, outside of Pura. We destroyed these, we should take Pura fairly easily. We do have to be careful because Gedrosians have javelins. Uh, missile attack of 15, which is pretty powerful. So don't get close to them. Right, let's get in here and fight this battle. Uh, we do have a very powerful general. Most of our generals are quite powerful because they've all fought in a lot of battles. We haven't been using them much for garrison duty. You are. Let's get you off of guard mode. Start the battle. They're attacking us, aren't they? Oh, looks like they're moving. Right, we're up there on right flank. It's probably a row of Gedrosians out in front. Don't want to get tired, because we've had another of battles where our cavalry have got caught by enemy cav, even enemy infantry. Probably because we're running them around too much. But the whole point of skirmish cavalry is to sit back from a distance and shoot the enemy, and be more mobile, and stay out of range. Yep, they're dying pretty quickly. They did have one unit of archers, which is back here, I think. Are you in range? Let's pull you back. Yep, somebody got in range, didn't they? You got caught with some javelins. And you're an expensive unit, so we don't want that happening too much. Same up here. Those Gedrosians always seem to manage to get into javelin range. Right, that must be there. Archers back here. Right, throw that unit. Those spearmen will go pretty quickly, although they're still getting shot by somebody. Maybe it's those archers. Alright, can we get you through there? Get you into those archers. We're getting you hit by a bunch of javelins. Yep, it's pretty much the last unit that we have to worry about. Get up here and shoot this unit. Now I've lost 2%. Uh, those spearmen are pretty much gone. Not doing that well against their archers. Get in there. Pull unit in. Beyond belief. 
Yeah, we'll continue just to get the experience. Alright, chase them down, speed it up. Friendly fire back there. And it should just be one unit left in Gudrosia, uh, Pyrrha. Gudrosia is actually in the name of the region close by. Allowing us to expand eastwards. And I think we should be able to get a port at Pura as well. Right, that's uh, good enough. This is a heroic victory. And in the western part of our empire, we're going after a couple of Seleucid settlements. Uh, last episode we captured Babylon, didn't we? Ah, finally, an extra general. Is he going to show up? At Bactra. Alright, get in there. Siege him. Um, yep. Gonna have to get an infantry unit out here. Which we can do. Alright. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave you out here in the uh, governor at the moment. Right, so we're going to have to break the siege once again. There's that blasted Seleucid diplomat. I hate him. I hate him. I really do. Uh, you, sir, can come on over here. Some more troops. You're getting a discount there. You can go and join up with uh, Euphodamus, the conqueror, who's going to conquer Kazaka. Right, so now that we know where that Seleucid diplomat is, it's safe to move some units out from over here. So, let's get some more cavalry. They're uh, very cheap at Sadricata. Put you up here. Now, uh, don't break the siege down here. Put some more troops up here. Not getting a discount on these ones. Hmm. It's the best way to send you two turns in that direction. Okay. You can hold out five turns and we can probably just sally out and break them in any case, can't we? So, need to check to see if we've missed anything during the end turn, such as this. Uh, corruption 600. Yep, we want to reduce that. Okay, Athena. Yeah, still want to reduce the corruption over there. No. I'm going to put in some better defences, because we're on the border of Arthia, who are allied, but they could turn on us. Right, that looks like everything. And I saw some troops moving over here. Extra cavalry. Clear you up here because we want to push on as quickly as possible. Still got 79,000. This is going to help uh, with the trade up into these settlements once we capture this one. And support from there. 
Yeah, fishing village here, which should be for Pura. Then we're going to push on into the uh, Indian subcontinent here. That's Patala? Yes. Now, apparently there are a lot of strong garrison units out here. Uh, Indian longbowmen, uh, Indian spearmen, but most especially Indian armoured elephants. Definitely some down there, some up here, Exila. There could also be a settlement around here. There is in Europa Barbarora. Uh, can't remember if there is in this one. But those are going to be some very profitable areas. And they're not that far from our capital, so they shouldn't have that much corruption. They may have a, a start, once we conquer them, but not for too long. So, I think we're actually going to sally out here, just to get rid of them. Yeah, that's the only one that might give us any trouble, but we can shoot them from a distance. So this campaign is probably the easiest that we've had so far, I think. We have had to do a lot of uh, uh, battles, micromanaging with our skirmish troops, but on rather well, rather swimmingly. Yeah, they're going to try running off up there, that hill. They do that quite often in both this and uh, Total War Rome Remastered. I'll either run off up into this corner, or run off along here. Not sure why they do that so often. You, sir, are going to stay behind. i send you to the town square. Find the town square. It's a long way back there. How are we getting shot? It's got to be friendly fire somehow. So I want to get you out. And that's where they generally stop. Hmm, who was coming all the way from over here? That's it. Get yourself into a good position up there on the hill. Now they've got some heavy spearmen. That's a good target to go after. Go to target their cavalry. It's their general. That was a bit drawn out. It's going to get a sore throat from all that shouting. Ah, uh, looks like he's trying to run away, save himself. Understandable. Trying to hide in the shadow of that mountain. Ah, look at that. Look at the light coming down from the sun. I haven't seen that very often. That looks very realistic. Ah. Yeah, look at that. Right there. Like a spotlight, doesn't it? Well, we've killed a good amount of there. 
heavy infantry. I want to kill off as many as I can, otherwise they'll just keep coming back. And it doesn't look like Armenia has that many territories on the map. So there's not that many places they can retrain their troops. Uh, Scythia actually has one of their home regions, looks like, on the map. But that general that we have up there at Gazaka, sieging sediment, he's going to go into Armenian territory soon. See if they enjoy that, because I was actually going to offer them an alliance. And as soon as I mentioned that in the video, they go and attack my settlements. So, they are now on the losing side. They should have taken that opportunity to gang up on the Seleucids. Yeah, you are going to kill off most of them. Almost gone. Come on, get into position. Scythian mercenaries. Well, there's no point in hiring you otherwise. If you're not going to do the job. The enemy army is in flight. Pursue them. Drive them from the battlefield. Kill them off, you mean? I don't want to drive them off. I want to annihilate them. Right, get them shot as quickly as possible. Come on, you can get them. Looked like just that one cavalry unit got away. This is a victory fit for the gods, a day of triumph to mark with a soft. Yep, apparently we didn't lose anyone. The 104 got away. It's pretty much that uh, Thai cavalry unit. Alright, good. Bye bye to them. Yeah, Armenia only has one, two, two, two territories that we can see. That being the capital. It must have been slow to advance. Civilians look like they've taken a lot of territory. We have our diplomat still. Did he die off? Uh, we're just down to one spy. Hmm. Okay, and hold out for five turns. Good sized population there. Let's see if they are attackers at Babylon. Nope, they didn't. And another husband. Yes. Uh, you're going to be a field commander. And you showed up at Ikpatana. That's good. Okay. Is there anything we can transfer over? You're a good commander, but... And uh, it's time to hang up your sword, I think. Uh, yep, I'll give you the doctor trait. Right, 
Right, so that's good enough. How old are you? You're also 51. You don't have any abilities. They're odd, but fair enough. Yeah, coming down as well, are you? I'll send you up there. Right. I would like to build a watchtower, but they're rather expensive. 1100. I really do need to fix that. Keep on recruiting. Same for you. Or declared Grace and Epirus. A lot of construction. Right, do for you. I'll put that in. Public order, 10%. Uh, so it hasn't actually increased. Right, finally you've upgraded. Dina, how much corruption? Yeah, not much. I'm going to put that in, just so we have good defences all across here, in case Parthia turns against us. Right, we have better defences over here. Let's get that road network in, so we can get troops there quicker. Because you have an important road network heading north, south, east, and west. Right. Should have reduced your corruption somewhat. How much corruption do we have in our empire? Oh. Approaching 8,000. It's not good. But I've seen worse. Right, get another unit there. And they pulled back. Uh, the Seleucids, dude. Saba now controls this area. Who's controlling over here? Ah, apparently it's Rebel. Apparently this is a rebel territory. There's a settlement out here. Alright, this is good. My lord. I think you're going to be fairly safe. Uh, just retrain those. My lord. And send you up here. Now that we've got two extra generals. Three if you include this one, who's our faction leader and absolutely terrible at management. Right, over here. Uh, Let's get that infantry unit. How long can they hold out? Three more turns. We could just wait, but. Did they get an extra unit? Yeah, they did. They got Gadrosians in there. Alright. Guess we'll go in and fight them. Hopefully with our siege equipment we can break into the settlement. Before night comes, this battle will be done. Whether the day goes well or not is in our hands. Brave sons of Greece! If we can't get in, we'll the favor of the gods. Uh, stay outside and just shoot them. 
from a distance. Do not all get over there? Alright, that battle. Go and knock down the gates. Doesn't look like a very big settlement. In fact, it looks like you might even be interested in coming out after us. They going out that second gate? Could be. Yeah, we should be okay. They didn't even get a, a little tower out on the corners. Let's just speed this up. They come out, we'll shoot them to pieces. Oh, they're going back into the town center. That's the governor's house. A nice little garden there. Little fruit trees, perhaps. And we're in. Alright. Let's come in and shoot them. Back to normal speed. Just need you to hold as long as possible while we shoot them. Getting all of our troops in is going to be the hard part. They are dying fairly quickly. Uh, you shouldn't be running into them. Back. Nope, oh, nope, they've broken. That's bad because they'll get into melee now. now that they're all grouped together. But we'll just hire uh, some more mercenaries for the garrison. Killed almost half. That's it, follow us out to the gates. Make killing you a lot easier. We'll take a few casualties, but not that many. Yep, they've broken. Battle's almost over. Let's see if we can route that one. The wavering. Oh, they're not giving up. Oh, we suffered fourteen percent casualties. It's uh, pretty bad. Yeah, two hundred men.
That, that's a fairly large piece of territory. Hmm. Unfortunately, they're not that happy with us. Uh, want to kill that many? Don't need the money, but oh, they're still not happy. Not to kill all of them. How much corruption? Hundred. Get that road in. See, they would have been uh, the next level up already. My lord. Onward. No more rules, sir. Right, I can't even retrain those units. Right, it'll be a while before we can move on from there. Yes, we get another unit over here. We take them out. Yeah, we can get away with that. Hmm. Got more cavalry up here. That road is definitely going to help out here a lot. Right, but that's as far as we're going to get in this episode. So, until next time, here in Abbeville Bay Conditon Take care.